Um, my name's Christina. Um, I've been married for three, three years. I have two daughters, a two and a half, almost three year old, and then a five month old. And I work part time. What do you think's been the toughest challenge for you as a mom? Something that you like didn't expect or just really kind of knocked you to your knees and you thought, I don't know how I'm gonna deal with this. Um, so our first, our oldest daughter, she's got some like sensory needs. So it's just uh, like she's in some therapies and stuff just to help her. Um, so I guess like part of what they've always talked about is like, and it sounds horrible to say it, but like it's not what I expected it to be. It's very hard. It's taxing on her and dad and me and also why she doesn't really like spend the night with grandparents because she has to be very like routine and stuff. Um, so I think that's probably like my hardest part. And then. She, she is so attached to me. Thankfully, like, we've gotten much better, but there was a point when it was only me, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> So I think that's the hardest part of motherhood, I think, for me right now, is just getting her needs met, and then, like, <laughs> not crying. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's just, it's it's been hard. That was that time that you said, that period of time you spent where you never, got a break it, you know you didn't go on a trip overnight oh. <laughs> no that's you know that's real uh, you know it, it's 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 something so many of us go through but we don't often talk about yeah. because my daughter um, was the super high achiever and in high school she all of a sudden things changed and I didn't know what to do and it and I took her to a hospital actually she just couldn't get out of bed for a few days and they diagnosed her with depression. And so that was two years ago and dealing with mental health diagnoses like that, um, just like you said, it changes your whole idea, especially after your child's already been this certain way. And then all of a sudden you're like, wait a minute, you know? And it's, it's a process. It's a, and, and it, and so many go through it. So. Well, like I just had my second kid and the day I had her was the first day I was ever away from my other daughter, like <laughs> ever. And how yeah. many, how old was she? Uh, two and a half. Like I've never like spent a, a night away. From a day, okay. Yep. Like I never went away for a weekend or had a girl's, like nothing. <laughs> so yeah. I'm like. I need a break, I need a break, yes. I need help, I can't do it all, and I mean, I can't do much even when I have them, so, or when I do have help, so I'm always like, ways to, you know, meet other moms, and, um, like, I've actually been thinking about this whole thing you, like, created, like, uh -huh. I'm like, we should do this, this makes so much sense, and then I saw everything, I'm like, babe, this lady has what I've been talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the day, like, you had a whole, it had a village and it took the whole village to raise your kid and we don't have that anymore. Like, even now, like my mom was, they moved to be closer to us, but they still work full time and they're tired and they're not here to, you know, raise more kids. But even, you know, a few hours helps. I already told my one girlfriend about it. She's, got, she's got three kids. They're a little, a little bit older. They're like seven and nine. I think she's got three. I mean, I'm all about like, helping others and like that's why I really think this is a good idea because we all need it we all feel alone at, at one point or another <laughs> it's nice to meet you it's great to meet you we're gonna be in touch yeah. and and if you come up with ideas for mm -hmm. events virtual or in person let me know mm -hmm. and we'll make it happen get the app at momsub.com